seconds and I started to get really worried. Because <laughs> as you can see, I only know English, hello, and I know if you can't, hello. <laughs> Lisa, you want to click the, click the slide there. Okay, this is me, looking a lot thinner a couple of years ago. But this is my why, okay? Um, this is why I try and do what I do. My story is I came here 14 years ago, came for a jolly two years, you know how it is? Um, you know, had a lot of fun. You know, I, I don't have a rags to riches story to tell. I was quite lucky. I had a great upbringing in South Africa. Um, I arrived here. You know, some people say they walk through uh, Heathrow not really knowing where they're going. I came through Heathrow on a British pass because my dad was from here and I actually didn't even know I was through. You know, so I'm standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Okay. I started off. Um, I came here, as I said, for a jolly, thought about bar jobs, and then uh, the boys said they're off to watch rugby in Ireland, and I thought, well, I don't have any money, what I do, so I have to get a job, and I landed into a sort of corporate job working in a bank, you know, it was eight pounds an hour, in those days it was like, you know, it wasn't, I just did something to get some money, and I went from there, so 14 years later, that's my sort of background, contracting, and, you know, John, you know me from the past, and I've tried various dabbling here and there. But the bottom line is that, uh, uh, I'll tell you one quick story why, you know, from great speakers about passion. And my dad was uh, unfortunately an alcoholic when he was uh, in his heyday. He retired at 40, okay? He still put me through great school. He had three other children. It was wonderful. Luckily for me, he stopped drinking when he was 60. So the last sort of 10 years of his life, he was, a, he was, a, you know, he was around, <coughs> which was great. He used to wake up at four or five in the morning Okay, just lie in bed for a couple of hours. And my brother-in-law asked him once, he said, Ken, you know, he's saying quite emotional. I said, Ken, what do you think about when you, you wake up in the morning? You know, lying there, the worst of the world sleeping. You know, my dad, from 40 to 60, hardly remembers his life. Okay, he said, it's missed opportunities. Okay, so that's pretty much how I felt. You know, a couple of, maybe a year. In fact, that's how I've always felt. I've had this great contract job in the city, or contract or banking, earning pretty good money, yeah, but it's a missed opportunity for me because it's not my passion. How many times, how many speakers have spoken about passion? Mm -hmm. Right? <clears throat> not my passion. So, I basically uh, had a long think about things and started dabbling and, and, you know, trying out different things and I came across the world of online and marketing and, you know, this is something that I think, hey, I don't know, I'm not a coder, a programmer, but I'm passionate about things online. I think there's a huge opportunity. So why are we here? So to learn something new. I'm sure you learn thing. Yeah, you learn one thing today from what you've heard. Just one thing, and it's a success. Trust me. Okay. Share ideas. I don't know. I've already got ideas from so many. You know, wonderful lady speaking over there. I mean, just unbelievable. Inspiration. Who's not inspired? Mentoring. I mean, isn't it funny how that's been a buzzword? Mentoring. You know, only recently in my life. Have I actually thought about paying for mentoring? You saying there's free mentoring, you know? <laughs> I pay okay. for mine, by the way. Okay. I pay. I cannot tell you the value of paying or, or getting mentoring. It's just, you know, not only will you get ideas from that person, you'll meet people at a level you yeah. want to be on. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's just unbelievable. I mean, recently I, I have come across a guy called Daniel Wagner. I don't know if any of you know him. Maybe a couple of you online may have come across <coughs> Anyway, this guy was delivering pizzas seven years ago, okay? He now stands up on stage getting paid 5,000 pounds for a speech, okay? This is free, by the way. And he has up here, he has 
this is what he, he calls them pizza days. It's the 50 pounds a day that he gets he, he, get, he used to get paid. And over there, he has he says, today I made what's 5,000 divided by 50. That's not my forte. But anyway, he says that's how many pizza days for one hour speech. Okay, he went out there and got it. I mean, this guy is just unbelievable, and you know, he's he's one of the guys that I you know have got mentoring me. Okay, what will you get from me? Hopefully today I'll I'll just give you a bit of an understanding of. You know, we spoke, there's a lot of people who have spoken about passion and entrepreneurship. I, I want to just delve a little bit more, give you some ideas about online itself. Maybe you've got a business already, or you're looking at, at potential ideas. And uh, we can, you know, you may know some of the stuff, you may not, not but, you know, I'm just going to go down that route. Okay, so how big, first thing I'm going to say, how big the internet is. I mean, we all know it's big, right? It's a big place. Okay, I'm going to try and explain. You know, this, it's always, if I said, how big is the internet? You're going to say, big. <laughs> but how big, big. Okay, let's go. Okay, there are about one trillion pages on the internet. Okay, one trillion. That's a hundred billion. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's a lot of pages. Okay, the internet's big. Next. Okay. Here's something that sort of put a bit more perspective. We took a square foot. I think that's a square foot. John, square foot. Yeah. <laughs> and we laid it side by side. It would cover Lesotho and some. Okay. There's a lot of pages. And you know what? It's a big, it's getting bigger. 2.2 billion people use the internet these days. That's one out of every three earthlings. Okay? I mean, if you can't see, for me, this is why I get so excited. It's a massive marketplace. You know, I would even go as far as say, if you've got a business and you're not online, maybe you should go down that and have a look at it. Okay? In 2015, it's getting, okay, this, this is to try and illustrate that it's getting bigger, okay? This is all Star Wars talk to me. But over here, we're going into the world of, what's it, a zettabyte. I mean, hello, I don't know what a zettabyte is. Okay, and just some idea, there's a thousand exabytes in a zettabyte. So we can watch TV for 36,000 years of HDV, HDTV video, no, there's one zettabyte. So just give you clarity, click there. By the end of 2015, we're going to hit the zettabyte threshold. Okay, here it is. Okay, your cup of coffee on your desk, that's a gigabyte. A zettabyte is the Great Wall of China in comparison. I mean, the world's going internet nuts. Okay, it's going to get bigger and bigger. And that for me is exciting because that means that there's so much potential in marketing, you know, getting your business there. We'll come to that in a little while. Okay. So as you can see, this is basically showing, I mean, it, it, you know, we're in the UK, the internet, as you know, touches everywhere. And those of you lucky enough to be in, from Cape Town, like me, there's also internet there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, when you joke me, <laughs> I mean, it is a phenomenal thing. You know, you may have a local business, there's still a place in the internet, but you, your business online, it goes global 24-7. Okay. I'm just going to talk about social media here. I mean, we all know this stuff. I mean, you're probably all experts in social media, but it's really important. Okay? I suppose this is, this is quite an old slide because over there you can see monthly, monthly active users. The end of last year was 1.6 billion. You know, 680 million people on average in December day. Mobile monthly users, 680. I'll let, you know, I'll, I'll, you give me some emails, I'll send you these slides. There's quite a lot of writing and then you can take it away and you can look at it yourself. But basically, Facebook is massive. You know, and it's not just to find out, you know, who, who had lunch today. <laughs> I mean, that, yeah. is anybody here, by the way, who's not on Facebook? John, you're right, you don't have to do that. 50% of companies use Twitter for business, okay? 61% of consumers are likely to buy brands they follow. Okay, if you're not on, on Twitter, maybe you've got to consider it. What I find fascinating over here is the number of people on Twitter is 500 million. Okay, 140 active users. Okay, 42% of them learn about products and services. Okay, 31 provide opinions about products and services. 31 ask about products and services. 28% look, I mean, do the maths, you know. 140 million, 42%, you know, again, it's a lot of people and it's a huge opportunity. If you've got a business, potentially you've got to think about these social medias. YouTube, you know, 2012 internet video will account for over 50% of consumer internet traffic in the US. I mean, that's just huge. More than 13 million hours of video were uploaded to YouTube in 2010. 
I mean, these are big numbers. Over 3 billion videos are viewed each day on YouTube. I mean, that's a massive, massive numbers. The power of something like YouTube, if you had a small business, let's just take we're promoting this day, and there's a couple of you filming here, and you suddenly took this video and you put it onto YouTube, and somebody came to view it, you know, they'll say, okay, great, and then underneath you have your link. It's so simple. Okay, it's a business idea. Use video. It's, it's, it's just an amazing way and fast-growing way of promoting your business. I'm not going to go into all the social medias, but basically just to give you an idea, 72 hours of video uploaded on YouTube every 60 seconds. Who plays Farmball? Come on. Farmball? Candy shop, whatever. Okay, good. It's good. It's good. But basically, 1,100 acres farmed on Farmball. You know, every 60 seconds. That's a joke, right? It's clicking buttons. I mean, it's amazing. One in seven people on the planet use Facebook. Okay, this is an amazing stat. 4.8 billion people have mobile phones. 4.2 have toothbrushes. Okay. The world is going cuckoo. Okay, but if you if you're not basically if you're not with it, you've got to get with it. That's the bottom line. Okay, just some numbers. Facebook. Okay, LinkedIn is 160. You know, if you're a business, LinkedIn is great for business to business.